If you're wondering whether or not you should update the latest driver 531.18, this is the video for you. Because boy, did I do some testing. So um, I didn't make a split screen comparison yesterday. It took me forever to download this driver for some reason. So I decided I'm just gonna do a deep dive analysis to see if this driver is even worthwhile updating because the previous driver 528.49 was a shit driver and this one is too. So all my games are tested using medium settings and where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available I used the quality setting. With the exception of Returnal, I've got a GTX 1650 with a quad-core processor, so my laptop is severely under spec. So for Returnal, I use FSR um, on the balance setting, on low settings. Everything else is medium settings with FSR 2.0 or 2.1 set to quality. So guys, with the previous driver, 528.49, um, it wasn't a great driver. In terms of overall average FPS, it was pretty stock standard, but the place where it really came up short was in its 1% lows. So they had the, the lowest 1% lows that I've ever seen in a driver previously. So um, after I benchmarked 10 games, got the average FPS, got the average 1% lows, um, you'll see the average FPS per game was pretty stock standard, but the 1% lows were very low. So um, my average 1% lows over 10 games was 44.25 and my average FPS per game was 69.14 and this is for driver 528.49. So when I divide the 1% lows by the, the average FPS, my stability is 64%, which is completely and utterly the lowest I've ever, ever experienced in all my time of benchmarking. And to be quite honest, it's not much better with the latest driver, 531.18. So when I add up all the average FPSs over the 10 games and add up all the average 1% lows over 10 games, so the average FPS is a little bit higher and the 1% lows is a little bit higher, but it's still pretty crap. So the average FPS per game on 531.18 is 70.01. And then my average 1% lows are 45.83. So it is a slight improvement. But when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, it gives me a stability reading of 65.46%. And guys, that's really, really crummy. Um, I wouldn't recommend 528.49 or even 531.18. If you want my advice, the two drivers I'd probably recommend, um, 528.02 has been my go-to driver, um, but then again 524.24 or 528.24 is almost just as good, and I know that 528.02 in Returnal it stutters like hell, and in Forza it does stutter, so maybe the best bet is to go for the, the slightly newer driver. So guys, if you want my recommendation, I recommend 528.24. I don't recommend 528.49 or 531.18. Anyways, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet, please be sure to subscribe. Other than that, guys, it's people like you. Cheers.